Hey everyone, welcome, welcome. This is just a short daily reading. It's for the 9th of August. Um, we have a lot of really great readings out there. You guys, if you haven't seen your weeklies are out there and the the 8-8 portal reading went out yesterday. No, it went out a couple days ago and Monday's reading touched base on the 8-8 portal as well. This is really important time uh, for manifestation, for things, um, for you to manifest anything you want. I would watch Monday's reading and I would watch the Lions get the Lions Gate reading the 8 8 portal and I would also watch um your weekly readings of course this is a most important time of the year to manifest anything you want all right so we've got justice for something that happened that was ten of swords so something that was devastating that happened in your life you're about to receive some kind of justice on tell me more about the nine nine portal here this also could be the end of a marriage. You know, this could be a divorce, um, but it would be the final stages of it, I feel, or the moment when, yeah, because the relationship card of the Four of Wands just came out as well. So let's see what else comes out. Just one or two at a time, please. What else do we need to know? Nine, nine. Okay, long time coming okay all right so i feel like for most of you there's a leo or somebody with strong fire or it's just happening right now in leo season right so uh there's somebody here that you are um ending something with but this has been a long time coming ending um there was a lot of drama involved there could be money involved uh there could be secrets involved somebody could have lied wow there's so much going on here okay so um we have the magician back here and we have the knight of swords reverse this is somebody who obviously lied about something this is most likely a gemini this could be a gemini cancer cusper um this could be anybody honestly but um, somebody lied about something or somebody blocked something from someone. And I say that because right behind that, we have somebody here whose ships are coming in, but she hasn't received them yet. Queen of Pentacles reversed, but look at the big ship coming in. So this could have been like um, somebody who interfered and blocked, something, like betrayed you in some way from a lot of money too. It could have been a group five of wands, but it was about money. King of Pentacles and 10 of Pentacles reversed. Um, uh, so there's something here about that, but now justice comes in. So whether you're masculine, feminine, I feel like, um, this could be for either of you, but there's something here coming in for you. Like there's a justice in a situation where there was some kind of financial drain, um, and some kind of drama and lies that were here. Someone was manipulating this. Um, and it looks to me like it was either, if it wasn't a Gemini, it was a fire sign. All right, let's find out. Tell me about this reading, please. Six of Wands reverse, Strength reversed. I feel like this represents some kind of a fire sign. And absolutely. As soon as I started shuffling, the two of uh, cups came out with the nine of pentacles and the ace of cups. This is like your new beginning on your own after ditching this guy or person or girl guy. Doesn't really matter. So ending a, a partnership because this person is not in your highest good they're manipulative they could have been manipulating um in some way they could have been family or they it could have been i feel like it was about money so really this feels like a partnership in business or or sometimes when you know at an eight of cups i mean eight of pentacles there it is right there that's work right but sometimes it's not really work it's look absolute look oh my gosh oh my golly i mean look Five of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles Reverse, and Eight of Pentacles Reverse. This is definitely business related. Okay, so keep this in mind. So this had something to do with someone who was left out in the cold. I feel by a business. That's what I was in the middle of saying. It's not always where you work. Sometimes it's a business that screwed you over, right? So it, either or, either or. This is going to be something where and look someone's trying to heal from it four of swords and the um star reverse this is someone trying to heal from it from a lot of drama that they put this person under five of wands reversed again so i feel as though you've gone through a lot of bs because we had that five of wands right there and something about these people lying or blocking your 
abundance or something. So your abundance has been blocked or stopped. It has something to do with, I feel, some kind of business or work situation. There could be a fire sign involved, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, and you were done dirty. You were definitely done dirty. Um, Ten of Pentacles reversed, Ten of Swords. But there's some kind of justice that's been a long time coming coming into this situation i want to find out what it is whoa 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 get back here all right we're going to ask about these two together justice and the seven of pentacles this is like a long-awaited justice justice and the seven of pentacles please what do we need to know about it the most this reading is for august 9th yeah again leo energy in the reverse leo is in the reverse everywhere Tell me more about justice and the seven of pentacles. Ace of wands reversed. So someone was keeping you from your new beginning. Um, this also could re represent business or um, creativity. And look again, three of pentacles. So this could have been, I'm telling you, this was some kind of drama around a work or business situation. Why is Ace of Wands reversed? Why? Oh, hold on one second, you guys. Oh, I'm so itchy all of a sudden for you guys tell me and that usually means important messages are coming through okay tell me about the ace of wands reversed what do we need to know ace of wands reversed okay the wheel oh my gosh i am going crazy over here itching like crazy for you guys the wheel of fortune and the ace of pentacles beautiful ace of wands ace ace of pentacles something about the past six of cups here reversed with these people the five of wands or something about drama in the past. Look at the devil right there. Wow. The tower. Wow. The hierophant reverse. Wow. This is like corrupt business that you had to deal with from the past. Whew. Wow. I did not expect all that. All right. Let's keep moving along here and find out what, what was the betrayal? The 10 of swords. Let's talk about this 10 of swords. My gosh. So the four of wands for me can be the place you work at sometimes, okay? But let's look at the, uh, you know, the four, you know, the four walls of a home, but it could also be the four walls of work, right? It's a dwelling for me sometimes. Um, tell me about the ten of swords. What about this ten of swords? But this, all of this could have turned your home and family upside down, whatever it is. Tell me about the ten of swords. So you were really betrayed here. Oh my gosh, five of swords just popped out of the deck. Give me more on the Five of Swords, Ten of Swords. This is like people taking advantage. This is someone who was bullying you, one-upping you, causing drama. We've got the King of Cups as a challenge here. This could be a Scorpio. Like I said, it's somebody who lied. Somebody who lied. Page of Swords reverse. Uh, King of Swords reverse. Uh, Eight of Swords is reversed behind that. I feel as though this is somebody who lied was manipulating a situation tell me more about this why is king of cups here as a challenge with the ten of swords and five of swords it's completely completely betrayed you in some way why is the king of cups a challenge here what is this about yeah wands okay so this person's a wands person i'm telling you this is going to be an aries leo or sagittarius most likely maybe you'll know them as a scorpio um, Scorpio or Aries, Leo or Sagittarius for me. Whatever it is, it's like this tower came down and there was some kind of manipulation. This has to do with the past. Tell me about the uh, four wands reversed. Yep, look at this. I kid you not, the three of pentacles. And guess what? the magician and we also have three of cups at the bottom again i feel as though there's something to do with i'm telling you it was like a business situation the eight of pentacles and the three of pentacles keep coming up this is about money most likely money and business and there was a leo involved there could have been three people involved there was an aries leo or sagittarius involved somebody with fire there could have been um 
a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio involved, and I feel like there could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo involved. But any of these people, really. It could be anybody. Anybody. But there's something here about... There could have been... Okay, so if somebody didn't purposefully screw someone over, which I believe they did. Somebody got screwed over here. Now, whether they got screwed over because they didn't have all the information or not, like in other words, somebody acted too soon before they had all the information and screwed somebody over and manipulated it to go their way because they thought somebody else was screwing them over, then they're going to find out that they weren't. Um, or... Somebody purposefully screwed someone over and the truth is coming out about that. The truth is coming out because there's a justice coming in and there's something here being exposed about um, really corruption. When I see that Hierophant reverse with the magician twice in reverse with um, the devil with the drained money situation i can't help but say it feels to me like someone and ten of swords five of swords someone was using someone manipulating someone taking advantage of someone and betraying them and it has something to do with work or business and there could have been multiple people involved i hope this makes sense to someone because you're coming out of all these fives which is excellent um this to me says that things are about to change for you uh with this you're about to um get a new like you're detached from this person is your new beginning you get to leave the partnership behind or whatever it was listen anytime we sign a contract with a company we go into a partnership with them this might not be a partner that you see every day but it could be the person you um I don't know, signed your home loan with and you, know, you found out that the interest they told you you were going to be paying was tripled and, and you got screwed and you're trying to fight it. And But they had the small print and they, they screwed you, right? Um, but whatever it is, I feel like this wrong is going to get seen. So I hope that, I mean, and that was just one tiny, tiny example of the many, many, many kind of business interactions we have that could have gone belly up on you because someone was doing something it was corrupt it was corrupt um you could have you know um been promised something and you pay you gave them a huge deposit and they never showed up and did the work right whatever it is right there's something here about something corrupt having to do with money and business but to me it looks like a lot of money okay so i hope this makes sense but um there's no more drama going to happen in this situation anymore there's some kind of balance or justice coming in or something that wasn't seen before I feel will be seen there's a whole there's like a change coming in now look at the change I want you to see about the change well first of all the justice card shows up um, we have the ace of wands here in reverse so I know that's going to come in when the wheel comes in right it came in on top of the wheel so that's coming in you got the ace of pentacles that's definitely coming in the ace of cups which is here I thought twice did you have it twice no maybe just once but this is just an indication of the change that's coming for you and the freedom you're going to get from whatever this partnership is because we see the partnership um, in, re I don't know where it went. Oh, here it is. The two of cups reversed and we see you independently on your own with your new, oh, with this new beginning, I think was with it. The ace of cups, this is you on your own independently. When that wheel turns, you get all this new energy that comes in for you on your own no partner involved because this partner was doing shady things for some of you he was just he or she was carrying on a third party situation this could be either a masculine or a feminine doesn't really matter so one of these people was carrying on some kind of third party situation for others of you this was 100 percent business related or or financial it has to do with a business or someone you were dealing with okay i hope this makes sense Three of Cups is at the bottom again. I'm telling you, three, 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 three is everywhere. Now, when I put out yesterday's uh, reading, which was a really good reading, if you haven't seen it, you might want to watch it. Um, it that reading was for the day of the Lion's Gate. Now, keep in mind, I put out a whole Lion's Gate reading for everyone with each individual sign of the zodiac the day before that so there's two readings out there one is called the Lionsgate portal reading and everybody's sign got an individual reading in there uh, they're short mini readings right but they're in one video time stamped okay then yesterday I put out a reading 
that is for that date for 8, 8, August 8th. So I put out just a regular daily reading because I knew some people wouldn't watch the Lion's Gate reading because they don't know what it's about. But it's a huge manifesting day, like the most important manifesting day of the year. You could manifest anything you want on this day, right? So keep that in mind. So I did those. So you might want to watch both of those. And now I don't remember why I wanted to tell you to watch them. But there was similar energy going on in that as this one. So I would watch them if you get a chance to watch them. But it has something to do with something coming through for someone or something about blocks being lifted or something about someone who was trying to entrap them in something. And it involved a group of people. That's why I wanted to say it. And that file was well, it's funny because if i had had enough room i would have put it on there for you guys to see but that file for yesterday's reading the file number on my end you don't you guys don't see the file number but the file number was 10 3 3 3 3 just like that it was 10 and then 3 3 and then 3 3 i felt it was so important well 10 means the end of a cycle and these threes are all like holy numbers 3 3 3 3 very important for somebody um these are like angel numbers. I would look them up if I were you guys, but there's a lot of significance. So many people have been getting these threes late lately. Um, also, we have, you know, the um, Wheel of Fortune here saying this is about divine timing. This was supposed to happen when it happens. This is divinely being orchestrated. New beginning, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles um, on your own free and detached from whatever this is these people or whatever this situation was that was corrupt i hope it helps somebody i'm going to grab you a couple of angel cards on the way out of here um but yeah it had something to do with a group or three again three 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 i mean i can't help but notice that all right angels what do we need to know here got one out of all that how about a couple more from the bottom okay okay love humor and discernment so i don't know why love would come out why is love here so this change might be really good for you yeah because you're going to go through a healing time that's exactly what i was going to say this change is going to allow you um and you've used your discernment i feel like this so see how the discernment is like choose this way or the other way so um spirit is saying choose you know the healing side of things i feel like someday you're gonna um be able to be in this happy joyful energy again after this whatever this is that's coming out or coming to a head is going to send you into a way i mean you're going to be so happy when this happens you are going to be in this kind of energy why is love here one more we got i know we got healing but why is love here just one on love something from the bottom okay we oh we got three strength simplicity and play okay so this is what i always tell you so i feel like somebody hasn't been able to be in a love relationship for a while because of all this stuff they were going through spirit says whatever this is this new beginning that's coming in for you you're going to heal from this you're going to be in a way lighter energy you're going to your life is going to be in this very simple you haven't been in this in a long time playful humorous and fun energy that you haven't seen in a long time but it's going to take strength for you because um, it means you have to go in that direction, which means you might have to allow the past to go away and heal from it. And you will, um, I feel like your this love is also about you will be able to get into an energy for love again. I feel like whoever I'm speaking to may not have been able to be in a love relationship. This could have been a third party situation, like I said, for some of you. But for others of you, this going, this being in your life didn't allow for love in your life, didn't allow for a simple time in your life. It was all heavy. It was hard. It was, you were really being manipulated by someone here or someone really did you dirty here, whether it was third party or a business thing where you were done dirty. Um, it, I feel like for some of you, this was definitely about money. Um, for others of you, it could have been about, you know, your love life, but for most of you, I feel like this was about a money situation where you were done dirty. But whatever it is, you were done so dirty and wrong that I feel, I mean, there was like corruption going on here. 
there's no way you could be like, oh, I'm going to get into a love relationship tomorrow. You couldn't. Your whole life was wrapped up in whatever this corrupt thing was that happened to you. I hope you guys will, um, this is the energy you're leaving behind and you're going into this lighter, simpler, more beautiful time in your life with all this new energy going into it very independently. You have, like I tell people, you can't have love come in until you're in this energy. You have to first be good with you. You have to be independent in this nine of pentacles energy um, so that you can be in a high vibration to then allow love in. But this is all new energy coming in for you independently. Later on, love could come, but not right now. I feel like for some of you, you could have been in some kind of a third party situation. And this is why you have ended up in the position that you're in. Somebody did you dirty in a third party. For others of you, this had more to do with something corrupt going on in business. I hope you guys will chime in down below and comment. I'd love to hear from you. Good luck with this. Don't forget to watch these very important readings. And your weekly readings came out too yesterday. So please do watch them. All right, guys. Have a good one. Talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you.